Hey friends, Ash here with Jen Sense. Hope that you guys are doing well. We got another haul today, guys. A clone haul. Well, four clones and one random straggler. So we've got some stuff from Offnon, some stuff from Armoff, and two fragrances from a clone house that I've never gotten anything from before. Alhambra. Yeah, this one's gonna be interesting. Uh, one of these appears to be a clone of a clone, which begs the question, have clone fragrances gone too far? At the point that they're saying, hey man, let's clone that fragrance. And then somebody comes and taps them on the shoulder and goes, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a clone fragrance that you want to clone, right? And they go, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's genius. Nobody's doing this. Nobody is cloning clones. <laughs> oh my God, this is a great business decision. Let's do it. So guys, let's jump into this. Let's check out this haul and, and see if any of these are any good. Hey guys, today's video is courtesy of fragrancebuy.ca. They are running a big time sale as of this video. It runs until October 31st at 11.59 p.m. Apparently it ends right at midnight. So if you're one minute late, that's too bad. So for the sale, they've got a bunch of new door crashers, which are their fragrances that they have on their homepage. And I've got a link in the description to their website. So a whole bunch of new fragrances there at great prices. If you use the code mystery eight, when you check out, you'll get 8% off your order. Assuming you spent 88 Canadian dollars or more, which is like $10 US. That's actually not completely accurate. But the code is mystery eight. And if you spend over $148 Canadian, you get 10% off and free shipping with the code frag by eight. And in both of those codes, it's the number eight, not the word eight. You also get bonus sprays if you're a loyalty member. So make sure to check that sell out. And if you've been wanting anything from there, now would be a good time. All right, let's take a look at these fragrances in this haul. First up, we have Armoff Bois Nui. And it's, it's very fancy because it says Bois Nui by Armoff. By Armoff, not Armoff Bois Nui. I've got a random bottle of Davidoff Cool Water Ocean Extreme in a handy dandy tester box that I don't hate at all. I'm just playing, I do hate it. We have Offnon Supremacy, not only Intense, which is, it's a name. So Intensity plus Supremacy, I guess, I don't know. Then we have Alhambra Hercules, which when I see that name, I just think Hercules, Hercules. You know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, take a look at this box. Is this not the most obvious knockoff of Herod you've ever seen in your life? And then wrapping it all up, last but probably not least, maybe Alhambra, the official Club Intense. Do you see this? The official Club Intense. And I like that when I move, it just, does that. So that is what appears to be a clone of Club Denui Intense from Armoff. We have gone too far. We are past the point of no return. Let's get some tester strips. Let's do this. Let's get the non-clone out of the way first. Stab it off, cool water, ocean extreme. This is a tester box. I do not care if I damage it. It looks like a bottle of cool water with a compass. With these cool water flankers, uh, a lot of times you just don't really have high expectations, do you? You're just like, well, should be okay. Like a super fresh cool water. Yeah, no, huge surprise. It is pretty much what it says, ocean extreme cool water. So take that cool water DNA, ramp the uh, freshness, that explosive mint up to 11. I like it though. I mean, it's pretty cheap. And uh, if you're a fan of cool water and you want maybe a slightly more modern, ultra fresh version of cool water, I would check this out but you gotta like mint. Let's do Bois Nui next by Armoff. Oh my God, it's just tearing into a thousand. Ah! <laughs> that was like the simplest thing on earth, made difficult. Let me get the uh, cap and everything. The cellophane was just tearing into a million little brittle pieces. It's like it didn't want to come off intact. It was just like little bits and pieces tearing here and there. So the box gives the illusion of being nice, but it's actually really cheap. So you got like a little plastic piece that the uh, bottle sits down inside of and on the inside, it's kind of reflective. Box feels cheap in the hand too. I uh, got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, arm off up at the top, ingredients on the back and on the bottom. 
batch code. This one made May 2021. And here's the bottle. You got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, with the Armoff logo up at the top. It's got this wood that wraps around uh, the glass bottle on the inside. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting because it looks not so bad, especially when you compare it to most Armoff fragrances, like their bottles are kind of terrible. And this one looks nice, except the bottle has this really weird, like, oil to it. So when you hold the bottle and you touch the glass, it feels like the fragrance is leaking, but it's not because it has this weird, oily feel to it. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but if you touch it, it's just... Ugh. Let's spray it on though, who cares about that? When you spray it, like, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Where the atomizer is placed, when you spray it, it just blasts fragrance all over the front part of the, the metal piece here. So it's all soaked in fragrance. The scent is actually good though. It smells pretty nice. There's a lot of cheap feeling things going on with the, the presentation that, you know, doesn't, doesn't feel great. But what actually came out of that atomizer this smells pretty good. Like a twist on Paco Rabanne's One Million. Maybe like a fresher, very slightly fresher One Million while still maintaining big bunch of spicy sweetness. I like the way that smells. Yeah, two for two. Next up, oh, you know, I gotta just, I gotta get this out of the way. The official club intense from Alhambra, which has a cool deer as the, or would that be like an elk? Like a deer, powerful deer. The official club, intense. This is the official club. So it has this rubberized feel to the box. It's kind of nice. I mean, it, it looks cheap, but it feels nice. Name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration on the front there, logo up top, ingredients on the back, badge code printed in the same way that you'll find on our moth. This one was made 9-2020. All right, let's see what awaits us. Hmm, no. You see all my fingers? My finger and thumb? That's part of the bottle. <laughs> okay. That bottle is strong, boy. So you couldn't smell <laughs> you couldn't smell it so much when you open the box. When you put your nose inside it, yeah, you can smell it. The power that just blasted through my nose into my lungs, they seized up. I was trying to look down there and see if there were any wet spots. And um, there's one right at the front of the box at the top right here, uh, but nothing else. But man, if you put your nose in there, whew, rest in peace. All right, let's try to pick this bad boy up. So obviously there's been leakage uh, on the top part here, it hasn't affected the bottle, which frankly looks cheap. This looks like crap, uh, but it didn't affect the bottle, but it did affect the lid. So I'll move up close and maybe you can see it, but the lid is like all the coloration is flaking off and that's what's come off on of my hand here. It's uh, flaking off. Oh. oh my God. This is just such crap. <laughs> this is terrible. So I was trying to show you where this lid is just, just flaking off, man. This is, oh God, such garbage. So the whole thing is just, I don't even know where to put this thing. It's like, it comes off all over your hand and then this stupid little medallion thing just flew right off the top of the, top of the cap. This thing, is the cheapest piece of crap I think that I've experienced yeah, ever. So apparently the atomizer just flies off. I mean, you just, <laughs> yeah, just, I got no words. The whole thing is falling apart. At any moment, I'm expecting the glass to just explode and send shards of glass into my face. I don't even care about the fragrance. Frankly, I mean, I would never tell you to buy this thing. This is such a piece of garbage. Fragrance is all right. It's an Aventus clone, who cares? I mean, with 
this is just going straight in the trash straight in the garbage let's do hercules same company the box looks like a herod knockoff and as a certificate of authenticity on the back do you see maison alhambra yeah because i'm sure everybody who's uh making knockoffs is looking at that trash and thinking uh yeah can't wait to make that and, and make mad profit because everyone's going to be buying it honestly the counterfeits would probably be higher quality so well good news this one isn't uh leaking all over the universe so darcy lows it's uh really ugly it's got a weird deformed zerzhov cap or actually you know what it looks like it looks like a, a wagon from the oregon trail you think that's what they're going for kind of a maybe all right let's see if we can spray this one without having it uh, fall apart atomizer on this one is decent so that's nice i got a little bit of a cough syrupy kind of vibe but truthfully it's not bad this is obviously a Herod clone. So if you're after something that's uh, much more uh, affordable than Herod, maybe you could check this out. Yeah, this concentrates more on the like sticky, sweet, fruity part of it. I'm not gonna spray it on my skin to see if it's you know the same on skin as it is right here because I don't trust Alhambra right now. Alhambra. It smells okay though. It, it's not, it's not mind blowing, you know. I, I would say it's not on par with stuff like, uh, as far as clones go, Latafa, or Afnan, or Harmain, or Rasasi, or Armoff. It's like a step below that. Afnan, not only intense. Let's finish on a high note. Oh, this one looks fancy, fancy. Look at this. Wow, it's got a nice uh, shiny little slip cover. It would appear. Ooh. This one is obviously the best of the bunch as far as the quality goes. Look at this. Come on. Yeah. Supremacy, not only intensely. Nice little presentation here. Oh, opens up like a book. Look at that. And then that thing falls off. This thing just, you just kind of take it off there. And there's your bottle. The cap fell off, but that's a step up. I feel pampered now after all this stuff. Bottles falling apart and bleeding all over me. Yeah. Aventus. Off a tester strip. Not my favorite, I gotta say. It's a little screechy off a tester strip. Like it's it's strong, but it's like you know, it's like fingernails on a chalkboard. It seems to be kind of mellowing a little bit. But yeah, that first that first punch was not super pleasant. So um, this one, I'll, I'll hit on skin really quickly. Yeah, not a big fan of that opening. You know, once it settles, it's it's all right. Uh, the, the first few minutes, though, it's kind of kind of screechy, like it's sharp, and there's this kind of peppery thing going on that I'm, I'm not really a big fan of. Now, as it settles down, it becomes a little bit smoother, a little bit of a, a nicer Ventus style fragrance. My issue, of course, is going to be there are countless Ventus clones, and I, I don't think that this one is going to be good enough to unseat the ones that have already had a seat at the table for a while. You know, the Club Didn't We Intense Mans, the all main Love Insurers, the Pineapple Vintages, all 72 of them. And I think I might even go Supremacy Silver from the same company over this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry on my skin for just a little bit and then I'll come back and wrap this video up. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I will tell you guys, Supremacy not only intense, the longer this stays on your skin, the better it gets. So it actually smooths out and once it does, it improves tremendously. Not really a, an overly smoky, style of Aventus, a little more fruity, but it is actually really good. Longer it stays on your skin. This is a quality, quality Aventus clone. It does have a really nice presentation as well for whatever that's worth. And I was a little premature saying that uh, it was not so nice. Though the opening to me that first few minutes, mm, 
great. Let it dry down though, it's a lot better. And actually I'd say uh, for a lot of people, that one would be the Aventus clone du jour. It would be better than Club de Nuit, better than uh, Laventure. So if you're a big Aventus clone guy, if that's your thing, check this one out. Heavy hitter, big performance, really smooth. Get past that opening though. I don't like that. Let's work back through these. Uh, the club official blah, 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 that's in the trash. So <laughs> we're not worrying about that. Hercules over here. It's still pretty nice, but it, it is again, more on the syrupy side of things. Not terrible though. It, it makes up a little bit for that other one. Bois Nuit. Ooh, that's changed. Not as much sweet spice now. This one has changed into something else. Yeah, it's it's still there. It's just not as not as sweet as it was. It's like it kind of toned down the sweetness, which I was expecting that to carry on for longer. Again, off a tester strip, off skin could be different, but uh, the cinnamon kind of stepped back a little, and I can pick up even little hints of um, what smells like lavender, maybe ginger, you know. And it's got this this little little bit of patchouli. It, it changed a good deal. Cool water, ocean extreme. I don't like it as much now. Yeah, there's like some uh, seaweedy type thing going on off this tester strip. It's still not bad, but it's not the way I was expecting it to go, maybe we'll say. Because it started off so ultra freaking fresh, like ultra fresh cool water. And then it started to change into like a Bulgari aqua kind of thing. So yeah, a bit different. Maybe off skin though, I would dig that. Because I don't mind Bulgari aqua or aqua marine and it reminds me a little bit of that. It didn't at all initially. Well, there we go, let's wrap this up. It's been spending a long time here, especially with that one over in the trash. Don't buy that. Or if you do, and yours is anything like mine, then that's your fault. You have nobody to blame but yourself. Do you see it? It stained my hand. It's like I got a tattoo from a blind person. We're just like, ah. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging with me today. Uh, again, check out that sale if you want. It's not going on very long. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.